Hey, this is Ben, and I want to show you this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what you see here is a hydrofoil boat. It's basically an airplane in the water. Why would you do that? Because it is very efficient, especially at high speeds. Now there have been a lot of different designs, but this one is special. It utilizes active control surfaces to electronically stabilize the craft. Eventually I'm planning to build this in a bigger um, form, one to fly on personally. But for now, I want to share with you the development of this model. And I think it's pretty exciting. Hey, I've been just raking the lawn and the weather is so nice that I felt I should just show it to you here on the grass. Um, this is the hydrofoil in its final stage. Okay, where do we start? This is just a boat hole I got from eBay. Right there, there's a aluminum rod, a square rod. And the real interesting thing is down here. So here you see, that's the main foil. It's just an elliptic wing. Um, then in the back, you see you have the horizontal stabilizer. And the new thing about this hydrofoil is that it's actuated. I've built in a, an autopilot on INEF basis, which I can activate here. And then you will see when I move this craft up or down, actually it will stabilize itself. And this should do for a really nice, basically underwater flight. And now let's look into the boat. I actually found out this house is pretty well suited for my purpose. Um, I'm gonna show you why. Okay, um, this is empty. The two motors were here and the battery and so on. But um, obviously because this is an airplane, we need to uh, make sure the CG is at its right place. So, um, Basically this, this was the component bay or the, the electronics bay before and now I just put um, the autopilot in here. Uh, you can see all the parts here and the rest is pretty simple from well. Maybe I can quickly just demonstrate. Um... And then left, right or rolling and up and down. Okay, let's put this into a smaller tub just to see how, how it's performing. <laughs> well, I would say that's a success. Let's see how the servos um, keep up with the moisture. I'm really happy how this turned out. Man, that looks cool. <laughs> And then we drove to the next lake, my dad and me, and tried it out there. What do you think, Papa? I'm very surprised. I, excited? Excited. excited. I, I think I will be very surprised with this truck. <laughs> do it in stabilized mode. And back there we have, we have a rod, fishing, fishing rod. There we go. <laughs> well, we ran into some problems. It wouldn't just go. And the problem was one server was full of water and the control effectiveness was not enough. So I updated the PID control and there you see it actually does something. Wow. <laughs> All right, test day number two. PWM detected and right, uh, second try. Today we don't have as uh, nice of a weather as the, the beginning. Um, what we did is um, to increase uh, the area of the 
control surfaces and the servos now are watertight, I hope at least. And we have 6S, so uh, double the voltage and I'm pretty excited to try it out. Oh, and we have this string uh, attached to fishing rod so we can take it back like in the first try. Okay, let's go. Some fish. <laughs> yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Okay, this is full throttle. <laughs> got some problem here. It's, I think it's got some water inside the servo, but whatever. Let's try it out. Okay, now I want to try to jump. Let's try to jump. <laughs> Yo, that's that's loud. Well, by now you might have noticed this little sensor on the side of the hull. This is a time of flight lighter sensor and it measures the distance between the water and the boat hull. And the idea is to use this for a elevation or a height control um, so the craft can really st stable, stably fly over the water. But um, I ran into some problems um, because this is not supported natively by the INAF configurator for fixed wing airplanes so I might um, in the future add some custom code but for now I'm just happy it flies and it does it quite well and here another very funny story what is this what are you holding? No idea. Hydrofoil? <laughs> <laughs> that's right it's my hydrofoil yeah just put it down one a two a three What did you change? But at least you don't have to go swim out to get it. Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> My sister is gonna try to to drive this super sophisticated. Uh, oh, okay, full gas, full gas. And there we go. <laughs> It's very easy to use. <laughs> One minute later. Okay, we have a problem. <laughs> I think so, no? yeah. We have a problem and they are laughing. No. Anyways, it was a problem that I think water came in. No. And now this thing is drifting away. It's really drifting. So I need to jump in and it's really cold and I don't want to do it. Yes. But, but he actually does want to do it. A little bit. <laughs> do it for the fans. What what fans? <laughs> this is our <laughs> Oh no. Ay ay ay. But at least you don't have to go swim out to get it. See you, Clara. Okay, I should have just used the fishing line another time. Anyways, that was a cool bath. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little presentation. Um, all the CAD design was done using Onshape. Um, it's a pretty nice platform. Um, I'm not sponsored or any or anything, but um, I just like it. It's an online CAD solution and I will share the link to my project down there and you can have a look and even copy make your own copy of this um, Yeah of this craft and even 3d print it if you want anyways, I would be very thankful to uh, have you a subscriber of my channel and uh, Well, let's see maybe in a few months. I will have a human-sized hydrofoil.